Friends. I'm back with another director spotlight, this time for French director Jean-Pierre Jeunet. Uh, he was born in 1953. He's primarily a self-taught filmmaker and did a lot of short films and experimental films with his longtime collaborator, Marc Caro. And from his 80s films, he ended up eventually getting to his first movie, Delicatessen, in 1991, uh, co-directed by Marc Caro and then started teaming up with some of his usuals, such as Dominique Pignon. This movie is very eclectically funny. It has a lot of stylistic choices that are very unique, including some crazy close-ups and a very limited color palette, especially featuring a lot of yellow and red. But there's a certain comedy aspect to his films that I really do appreciate because it's not slapstick. It's very uh, comedic timing and dialogue choice stuff. And this is a very interesting uh, directorial debut, and I really, really do get a kick out of it. Uh, his next film, which I really recommend everybody see, is City of Lost Children from 1995, which is also with Marc Caro and Dominique Pinion, but this time Ron Perlman decides to join the group. It's kind of got this dark fairy tale aesthetic. It's got this really crazy, unique, uh, kind of dystopian cityscape going on. Again, it does have these strange notes of humor and a very telltale color palette featuring a lot of browns, reds, and greens, especially depending on where in the city the characters are. So it's got an, an adventure aspect, it's got a fairy tale aspect, um, it's got like a friendship, love kind of aspect. It's, it's a very charming film that I think more people really need to see. Uh, his next film is the only English-speaking film of his I have seen, which is Alien Resurrection, as I brought over my whole box set. And on the one hand, it's actually really not that good, but I think it's better than Alien 3, and it has some ideas that I like, and it still has a filming style that I like, even if the film itself really is not that good. So you can still tell it is by the excessive green in the color palette, which is very heavily noticeable to be his style. And I guess it's worth watching if you're a fan of the Alien franchise, but otherwise it's not really everybody's cup of tea. His next film, which is preposterously cute, and I do recommend to everybody as well, is Amelie, which is the story of a young girl who ends up moving away from home and going and living in Paris and then has all these different adventures trying to help people. And it's so sweet to the point of almost giving me a toothache, but somehow still really works. Uh, there's a lot of these very peculiar little humor notes in it too, and the primary color of, of green and red and yellow just kind of give it a sort of brightness and vibrancy in the film that's very much appreciated. And this is his first collaboration with Aubrey, uh, Audrey Tartu and she does a very good job as being a ridiculously cute character. Next film of his, which I don't actually own a copy of because it was the last film of his that I saw, which is A Very Long Engagement from 2004. This one's kind of interesting because it's much more dramatic and more like a straight played film. And a lot of the aspects of the production are very American. It's kind of got this American feel to it. There's, there's not a lot of these crazy little uh, interludes and, and all this weird humor, but it's adapted from a book, too, instead of original material. And this girl is waiting for her fiancé to come back from World War One, and everyone keeps telling her that he's dead, and she doesn't believe it. So she goes on this whole big investigation, and this mystery aspect, as it unravels, is very clever and, and well put together, and it received a lot of good, positive attention. So that's, that's definitely a good one. Uh, the most recent film of his I have seen is Micmacs, which has kind of got this like Mission Impossible TV show, like Get Smart, this kind of spy caper feel to it with all these like Rube Goldberg-esque devices that are doing all these different things. And it's still got the quirky characters and the crazy color palettes and this very particular, very French type of humor. Uh, and it's it's very entertaining that way. I, I didn't know what to expect when I initially watched it because I didn't know anything about it compared to his other films where I knew significantly more and the eclectic nature of it was very entertaining. His most recent film, which I actually have not seen, is The Young and Prestigious T.S. Spigot or Spirit or Spigot or something from 2013, which as far as I know is an English-speaking film and is supposed to be quite good. I don't know enough about it to really brief you in on it. I will get around to watching it at some point. 
So this is the only French director that I've actually seen more or less everything. I haven't seen a ton of French films. And funnily enough, just about none of these are actual horror movies. And here I am talking about them. Anyway, I highly suggest uh, taking a look at all of these movies, even though there are subtitles involved, which I know turns a lot of people off, but they're still really, really good, and I highly recommend them. Until next time, Darkness.